A new Ferrari is always a very special thing indeed. There's so many different things to talk about with the new FF that I really don't know where to start. I mean, it is the first ever Ferrari to feature four-wheel drive, and we'll come to that in a moment, because I want to talk about this beautiful shooting brake design, and the fact that it's a Ferrari with a really usable boot. I mean, I've never chatted about Ferraris and gone straight to the boot, but here we go. We've got about the same amount of space in there is in a VW Golf, 450 litres. Look, there's a couple of golf bags in there. You can even fold down the rear seats, and that'll give you 800 litres, which is about the same as a full Focus Estate. It's incredible. Now, let's go and have a look inside. As you'd expect, this cabin is a really nice place to be. It's actually moved on again from the 458, and Ferrari are using a new type of leather, which is extra soft. There's some cool gadgets as well. We've got front as well as rear parking camera, which is handy because the nose is rather big. There's a display up there which shows things like engine speed to the passengers so they know whether they should be frightened or not. And steering wheel is from the 458. And the Manatino, you've got that to control your ESP, although unlike on other Ferraris, there's a setting for snow. But the big question is, what's space like in the back? Because Ferrari claim this is actually a four-seater. Well, I've set the seat to my driving position. I'm going to hop out, get back in, and we'll see how roomy it is in the back. Right, climbing in there. Let's pull the seat back. It's gone back to my seating position. And do you know what? I'm pretty impressed. They say that someone who's about six foot one should be okay in the back, and I do not disagree with that at all. Leg room, it's not bad either. This is a genuine four-seater car. Right then, finally, we come to the powertrain. It's a little bit special, this, because this 6.3-litre V12 has direct injection, which is a first for Ferrari. The big news is, of course, the four-wheel drive system. Now, you'll probably notice there's no central diff. Normally, you'd have one sat here and another prop shaft sending power back to the front. But what Ferrari have cleverly done is fitted a gearbox here on the front of the crankshaft. There's a couple of clutches there, which, when needed, can send up to 30% of the car's power to the front wheels. We've also got torque vectoring across them for impeccable handling. As for performance, well, you've got 660 brake horsepower, which is good for 0 to 62 miles an hour in 3.7 seconds and a top speed of 208 miles an hour. And the big news about this car is that Ferrari says you can launch control it on snow. It is that capable. Can't really wait to drive this one, you know.